nines and tens all over the place. Already one of the highest reviewed games of all time. Uh, the hype is there. So as you can see, I've been on a bit of a Zelda adventure lately. I have been playing some Hyrule Warriors, played some Breath of the Wild, played some Ocarina of Time on the N64 Switch. So now we're ready to dive in to Tears of the Kingdom. I am, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I might sound a little congested. I do have some allergies that are acting up. Uh, but yeah, let's let's do this thing. We're not going to wait it out. We're just going to dive right in. Oh, they're all about that cinematic flair now. Look at that. Nintendo presents The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Here it is right there. I went to GameStop tonight, got my copy. Okay, yeah, this is the, the little piece that they showed in the original announcement. I understand that this takes place almost directly after Breath of the Wild. Uh, so Link and Zelda keeps getting thicker. have sealed away Calamity Ganon. And they're trying to figure out more information about what's going on. I think they're supposed to be underneath Hyrule Castle We've right been now. Descending for a while now. Yeah, descending. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. All right, look at that. Oh, whoa, we're maxed out on hearts. There we go. Beneath Hyrule Castle. Oh man, this is so sick. Hmm. I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. Can I get her cloak? That's a nice little cloak. I think that's like the um, the one that you could wear in Breath of the Wild. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going. Coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what rates below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go always. solve this mystery. Always, always. Got your back. Hang on. I've got to switch jump. Um, camera. Okay. Can't use Amiibo yet. Swap the controls. Yep. Lock to north. Yes, please. All right. Everything else looks good. There we go. Now it matches the controls I had in Breath of the Wild. It just feels more natural for B to be jump. Like that makes more sense to me. What was that? The sword's glowing. The Master Sword. Oh, that's not good. It must be sensing something. I knew we had a reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. We must be careful as we move deeper. Yo, what's up, Aaron? I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. Since you're at work, I don't know if you can hear stuff, but an audio check would be helpful if you can let me know how everything sounds. I think the audio balance is around how I usually have it.
Dang. Look at that thing. It is glowing like crazy right now. Ruins from an ancient civilization. Something is written here. It might be from the Zonai. But those are the people that had the shrines, right? In Breath of the Wild. Look at this. It's carvings. I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. Said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown. Okay. The statues, yep. These are like the ones in the shrines. Such large ears. How do the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up beneath the castle? Yeah, that's a fair point. The path ahead goes even deeper. What's up, Konai? Uh, Preston did great. He he was definitely excited. Uh, he's in bed now. He has school tomorrow, but um, he definitely seemed into it. We luckily were in line with a woman and her grandson. Um, so her grandson and Preston played Roblox while we waited. And I chatted with the grandma about old Zelda games and retro games and all that it was it was a good time look at these murals it's the exact kind of thing that i have missed i like going to midnight launches for those little impromptu conversations and the written histories <clears throat> of the royal family just having memories like that attached to a game's a release is nice long ago. it was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the demon king Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <laughs> Did you end up pre-ordering the game? Are you going to be getting the game, Jimmy? This is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Oh. Was the goddess Hylia a Zonai? It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. Oh, so she is half Zonai. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time. Working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. Oh, that's cool. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. Yo, what's up, Grant? This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. I don't actually review games anymore. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. Yo! What's up, Sean Chan? Really How's it going? The king, then... You see the pictures on Twitter of me and Preston at the the Incredible. launch night in GameStop? This mural must be the Great War recorded in the royal histories. Oh, that is sick. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link! This is a huge discovery! 
<laughs> All right then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. Yeah, it was really you cool getting to go oh. with Preston. You know what, Grant? I've actually I've been like thinking about maybe starting like a scared. little newsletter or something. I think that'd be kind of fun. Just you know, write about the games I've been playing and stuff. Just what is Nothing this official. Place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Hey, Sean, your your cousin's here. Link. Let's keep moving. AKA deep. Valerie, my wife. Sean says hi, Val. Oh, here, hang on. Look at that Zelda blanket. That is, that's a nice blanket. Awesome. That's just your new green screen. My new green screen, yeah. Hi, guys. I did not expect this game to throw some seriously heavy Zelda lore at the very beginning. Wait, I think that's where I came from. Sean said if Chanel was here, she'd want a Felicity fan cam. <laughs> yeah, I, I could start doing that. We have a camera in her room. I, I just set up. <laughs> I'll set up a feed just showing her laying in her bed. Chanel. Yeah, just just, just only for her. You have to subscribe to her Patreon. Yeah, I'll, I'll screen share um, directly to her phone, and so she can she can just watch right there. You can see her. <laughs> She is passed out in her bed right now. She fell asleep in the car while me and Preston were in line for the game. Valerie was waiting in the car. <laughs> he said she'd be distracted at work. <laughs> oh, is she working right now? This music is creepy. Okay, Val, you got a cosplay as this Zelda. You have the, your hair is kind of the right length. You just need to dye it now. I can't tell you how excited I am. The murals down here, their images support so much of what historians have written about. Zelda's a big old nerd. Because uh, this takes place immediately after the last game. So he's already fully powered up. What? At the beginning, you get three hearts. As you go through the game, you collect more. Yeah. So this is supposed to be linked after he's already done all that. Hey, Resonator, what's up, man? I haven't streamed in a hot minute. But a new Zelda game is a once every six or seven year occasion, so I figure I'd better stream on launch night. Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. I get the feeling there's going to be a boss fight that you are supposed to lose. And somehow lose all your powers, and then something like that, probably. Whoa, it's a Ganondorf mummy. Whoa, that's wild. Is that one of the tears of the kingdom? That's where the name comes from? I'm guessing. You thought I retired? Oh. 
Oh. That's creepy as hell. Yep, <laughs> it sucked away all the hearts, I knew it. Oh my god, his arms all... Oh, the Master Sword's broken? What? Oh, but it cut him. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. That fragile sword, a link. Raru placed his faith in you. Oh, whoa, Raru. Oh, my gosh. And that was all you could do. How do you? Oh, that's Ganondorf's theme. I, names. I recognize it. gonna make fun of me. I have chills right now. Take my good hand. <laughs> oh man. So the game starts off with Link straight up failing to save Zelda. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, Sean. It's my strong hand. <clears throat> Was that Scary Movie 3 or 2? I don't remember which one that is. That's crazy. That looks like Ganon's Castle in Ocarina of Time. That's a pretty intense opening to a Zelda game. They usually wait until the halfway mark to make it feel like you lost. Okay, so this new hand thing. I'm guessing this is where most of his new powers in this game are going to come from. Oh Val, so those sleeves they were giving out at GameStop, I bet they are supposed to look like this new arm he has. No, I mean, I'm just speculating. No, I got the plaque instead. It's way cooler. Ah, oh, Link. Okay. Finally you wake. It's a wooden plaque. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Okay, who is this voice supposed to be? Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. How long has he been out for? His hair is like super long.
Well, that is crazy. The master sword's all decayed and broken. <clears throat> Sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. I guess it can still cut the vines, so that's good. Considering how old the Switch hardware is, this game looks pretty nice. I like the art style a lot. Pretty much identical to Breath of the Wild, but it still holds up. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Can you go underwater? I can't remember if you can in Breath of the Wild. Legwear. It's still got a few good years left in them. It can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. Okay. <clears throat> it's like some Viking or like Spartan style sandals. Welcome. Mystic Maze, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Mystic Maze is now following. Welcome, welcome. I recognize that name from Twitter. Whoa, that's wild. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Alright, let's see what happens when I jump. Ooh. either very very high or he's falling very slow or both I guess I can't hear you what <laughs> title screen screenshot Pretty big Zelda fan, Mystic Maze. Huh? All right, Mystic Maze. Thank you for subscribing with your Amazon Mystic Prime. Mystic Maze just subscribed. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the little Zelda Master Sword video footage there it's been a while since I've heard that sound 
I'm gonna use the tree branch now. Cause the sword's all destroyed. Wait, I, can the sword still like cut little branch? Oh, okay. It can still cut like little plants and tiny saplings and stuff. From what I've seen, I've read, I've skimmed over a few reviews. I haven't read any in depth because I don't want to spoil anything. But it sounds like this one is a pretty good entry point if you're not like super invested in the series. Like you can easily look up a recap of Breath of the Wild just to get a grasp of kind of what's going on. And this game is a direct continuation of it, but it's it seems like it's almost like a not a reboot, but it takes place so far in the future from the rest of the series that it's the timeline is is almost separated in a way. Oh, whoa. First enemy. Okay, I should probably get my tree branch out here. <laughs> my branch already broke. Oh, man. Okay. Can I eat? I don't know if this sword even does damage. Oh, it does. Okay. Now, the sword's running low in energy. Yeah, this game is really pretty, Aaron. <clears throat> I'm really excited to see what... I mean, I know I just started playing this one, but I'm excited to see what the next system is from Nintendo. Because the Switch is six years old now, and there's not even been an announcement of a new system. And presumably it would be a lot more powerful than the Switch. So I'm excited to see what future Nintendo games can look like because even when the Switch came out it was already graphically inferior to the PS4 and Xbox One. So I'm excited to see what they do with their next hardware and what, you know, their own first party games can look like on that. Because even with the limitations of the Switch, I feel like this game is really pretty. I like the art style a lot. Is this thing friendly or is it an enemy? I guess it's friendly. Link, I have waited for you. Princess Elda left something for you in my care. Oh, it's like the new Sheikah Slate, I guess. The Pura Pad. It's an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. I'm surprised they don't have a switch designed to look just like that. That's crazy. It's basically holding a switch. Okay, so we are the Great Sky Island right now. We need to find Princess Zelda, that's my objective. Make sense? My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on the map. We stand in the Garden of Time. Steiny421, what's up? How's it going? The Temple of Time is visible from here. Oh, okay. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. I am very familiar with the Temple of Time. Now it's a lonely place. No one visits. Oh, okay. What's up, Games of Tea? Nice to see you in. You haven't missed out too much because this is my first time streaming in almost three months, so... It's not like you've been missing out on streams or anything. Don't worry. I 
I decided I was going to stream this game about six hours ago, so... It wasn't super plain in advance. Zone I charge, okay. <clears throat> I'm guessing a lot of the stuff I'm finding right now are going to be used later. I'm going to collect a bunch of tree branches because those are the only weapons I've found so far. If you're too curious to avoid gameplay, yeah, I get it. I totally understand. If I wasn't able to play right now, or if I wasn't able to get the game yet, I probably would be right there with you. I feel like at least if you're watching streams, especially at the beginning of the game, you can kind of just see what it's like and get a feel for it. Instead of watching a full review or something like that, where they're going to show clips and footage from late in the game. I intentionally avoided any of that stuff. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. Maintain a proper distance and target your opponent. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. Okay, lock on. Targeting on me if you want. Okay. Yeah, the Master Sword is at the start, but it's decayed and broken. So, it's not the actual Master Sword. This is in the very, very beginning. I'm about, what, 30 minutes into the game so far? 20 minutes? So there's been some major stuff that's happened earlier. So Link doesn't have tattoos, actually. Um, if you want me to tell you what's going on with his arm, I can. It's a minor spoiler, not like a major one, because it was the first like 10 minutes of the game. But there was something that happened. It's, they're not tattoos. I wouldn't be surprised if they got tattoos though. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> if, you, if you miss the water, you die. That's, yeah, I should probably have guessed that. Yeah, a long glove. That's that's sort of correct. It's sort of like a... It didn't actually show, really. It, like, engulfed his hand in sort of, like, magical properties. So it's hard to tell if he lost his arm or if this is just, like, an augmentation that's enhancing it. Or if it's, like a semi replacement or yeah it explains it at the very beginning the beginning of the game he starts with like 20 hearts you know like fully decked out master sword and everything and then something happens where um, Zelda is lost and he loses his power the sword's destroyed huh. all that stuff there we go. If you jump off a cliff, aim for water. I've, I've now learned that. Whoops. Oh, okay. I want to throw a rock. There we go. Oh, it doesn't break? Oh, but I found a cricket. Okay. These are those guys. Yep, there we go. Already. I've got my tree branch. Let's go. So these tree branches can handle like two swings and then <laughs> they're done. <laughs> It wouldn't stick much stronger. Okay, there we go. Yeah, what I started doing Games of Tea is... If you view it as a backlog, I feel like it's going to seem oppressive all the time. 
So just view it as your collection of games that you'll never play. That's much better. Oops. Okay, we'll keep going this way. Look at how Link's hair flows in the wind. So majestic. Man, I don't want you calling over all your friends. All the tree breaks first. <laughs> Forbidden West, yeah, that, that's on my list to get to this year at some point. I started it when it came out last year, but then Elden Ring came out. And that was pretty much all I played for a while. Can I eat any of these? No. Yeah. This guy did not give me any room. Oh, come on. Okay, we're switching to the stick. Maybe this will make more of a difference. Oh, yeah, there we go. That does a lot more damage. Down to a quarter of a heart. This is not looking good. Oh. There we go. Oh my gosh. Well then. How far are you in Breath of the Wild, Steiny? I don't think the sound alert worked. I never heard it. Okay, I guess sound alerts are broken. <laughs> no, I, I would have heard it. Yeah, I definitely didn't hear it, so I don't think sound alerts work. I probably need to re-log in since it's been three months. <laughs> I mean, I died anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. There we go. There we go. Making progress this time. Ooh, that was close. Much better that time. I didn't even take damage that time. MLG. Pro gamer stuff right there. <clears throat> oh, you're still in the first hour. Okay, well. You're just getting started in Breath of the Wild. You can really approach that game however you want, though. Like, you don't need to do everything. You really just do however much you want to do before you fight Ganon. I mean, you can technically go fight him immediately. You would have to basically not get hit the whole boss fight, but you could do it. It's a good game. I feel like the way I would describe it is... I think it's a very good open world sandbox RPG, but it didn't really give me what I wanted out of a Zelda game. I feel like it's lacking in some areas, like it doesn't have traditional dungeons at all. 
and you don't really get new items like you do in the other Zelda games. You get pretty much your whole arsenal from the very beginning. I've heard this one is kind of more of the same, but they've changed it up in some ways. Alright, this is a friendly one. I would not recommend trying to fight Ganon immediately. I mean, you can, but that would be very tough. Okay, what is he roasting? Please rest assured that a contract can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. You can use the fire to roast them. Alright. Sounds good. It's a toasty mushroom. Sky shroom. Sorry, not a mushroom. Yeah, I would recommend... Like, what I would say is to free all four of the divine beasts once you get to the point where you understand what that means i would i would do that for sure as a bare minimum i would get the master sword you don't have to but you that's you know i think that's a good thing to do in breath of the wild and i would get to the point where you feel pretty confident and capable and um you can get the hylian shield in the castle that you can find it in there and that will really give you all the ingredients you need to to fight them. Okay, so you place it on the fire, basically. And now it becomes toasty. Oh, there we go. Okay. Does that work with apples, too? I think it does, right? A baked apple. Look at that. Restore some of your heart. Isn't that lovely? Okay, you have to go to the actual pause menu to eat them. Okay. Okay. Any other stuff I can pick around here? Yeah, some more sky shrooms. Yeah, I mean, collecting the memories is important if you want to get the story, for sure. You obviously can just YouTube them. But those memories are basically the most important story bits in the cutscenes. They also do have a correct order. You can collect them in any order. But they won't make a whole lot of sense if you collect them out of order. That was one of my other issues. I didn't really like the way they approached that. Oh my gosh. What the heck? possible for me to get across over there or can I not? Yeah, I can. Okay. I'm assuming I'll get a glider again. Probably, right? This is the Temple of Time? Looks really different. Ooh, a shield. There we go. Nice. Rusty broadsword. And an old wooden shield. Perfect. That's what I'd like to see.
That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am wrong. Oh. Raru is also the name of one of the sages in Ocarina of Time. for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. Yeah, I really love all the voiceover work to too, Steiny. But you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Uh, yeah, I hope in the next game Link has a voice. Why not visit the shrines on this island? It's a little silly that he still doesn't talk, but everyone else does. <clears throat> the shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Of course, more shrines. Okay, so supposedly Zelda is waiting for me behind that door, but I can't open it yet. That's my new objective. Oh, that would be so funny if they referenced the cartoon. That'd be amazing. same shrine that he pointed at or is there a closer one? No, I guess not. Oh, I've already found an arrow. Okay. Probably means a bow is not too far off. Oh, yep. There we go. Yeah, his, um, the little tablet thing he has looks straight up just like a, it looks just like a switch. In the previous game, he had it on his hip. I don't see it on this one. Oh, no, is that it right there? Yeah, it's inside of the little pouch, I think, on his hip. I think that's where it's supposed to be at. It doesn't show him pulling it out. Whoops. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know how I want Link to sound either. That's the hard thing. Like, how do you even decide what kind of voice he has? Would it be like a stereotypical, like, Japanese video game character voice? You know, like Cloud or something? Or would it be more gruff and, I mean, he's supposed to be kind of a young kid, so I don't, I don't know what angle they would take with it. where the shrine is up there.
A rush room. Increases your movement speed if you cook it before eating. That's cool. Yeah, of course it would. If you would have to be voiced by either Troy Baker or Chris Pratt, right? Those are the only two options. I mean, who does the voice for his little like movement sounds and like right now when he's climbing? He makes he makes some noise. Like who who is doing that voice? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, Stiney. It's Maybe it'll just be whoever does those voices. Oh, no, I was just kidding. Don't worry. I thought I thought Chris Pratt did a fine job as Mario, but I, I have no idea what his link would sound like. Yeah, did you know that Ganondorf in this game is voiced by Matt Mercer? Whenever I saw that news, I got even more excited. Ah. Oh. So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Send your hand. Matt Mercer is um, the guy from... Oh, I'm drawing a blank. The D&D uh, &D show on Twitch and everything. He's, he's the DM. Uh, what's it called? Critical Role. Critical Role. There you go. The Ultra Hand. That sounds like a, like a new power glove. That's what they should call it. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Oh. Mm. To move objects freely and attach them to other objects. To build a great number of things. Mm. Yeah, the master hand from Smash Bros. <laughs> oh, so this is the... The bread and butter of of this game here. So now I have to create. So I'm supposed to be able to attach <laughs> objects to each other, right? Oh god. Okay. Oh no. Attach. Ooh. Oh, that would actually be a good link, Games of Tea. I like that idea. That's a very good idea. Yes, I did, Steiny. I thought that was hilarious. I haven't played that Banjo-Kazooie game in a, like a billion years. I think I played it when it first came out. I never finished it. How ambitious was the building system in that? Is it is it actually similar to this? I thought I remembered you could only really like build vehicles. It, it didn't. If I, I mean, if I remember correctly, it's not an open world game, is it? But I could be completely wrong. I don't know. 
I just can't wait to see all the clips on Twitter of what people do with this building system. Because I can tell you right now, I'm not creative enough to do anything actually impressive. Okay, so here's my little platform. I guess I need to... Can I pull this off? I can't just take the whole thing off. I guess I can attach this on there now. Yeah, Yuri was really good as the Prince of Persia. He's also really good in the new um, Insomniac Spider-Man games. I think he can actually nail that voice pretty well. I would be totally down for that. Oh, check that out! Look! That's awesome! That is so cool. So Steiny, do I know you? Are you from Twitter or somewhere? Or did you just stumble across the stream? You've done well to reach this place. This light will cleanse you of evil. A oh, rare replay on Switch would be amazing. I feel like I'm the only person in the world that likes Jet Force Gemini. I love that game on the N64. Oh, this is Matt Seeley. Okay. I had no idea. Light of Blessing. I'm surprised Conquer hasn't made a comeback yet. I don't know why Microsoft is sitting on that IP. He oh. did very well getting through that shrine, and we've restored an ability. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door. Alright, cool. Mm. Oh, you're all good, Sini. Like I said, I haven't streamed in over three months, basically, so it's not like you missed anything. Which game are you referring to? Are you talking about Conquer or Jeff vs. Gemini? Both were awesome in 64 games. See, is that another shrine? Yeah, right there. Okay. And there's the other one. Dang, that's way up there. Alright. So now I know I can get across this by making a bridge. I'm guessing I need all three probably, right? Aaron has redeemed some of his channel points for me to show a random collectible. So, 
I will do something that is appropriate for the stream. I'll do something Zelda themed. Alright, you can see right here, Aaron, this is the complete collection of the Zelda cartoon, um, the complete season. It is only, what, like 12 episodes, 13 episodes? Let me count real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I think it's, it's like 14 episodes. There we go. Got it on DVD. It is over three hours of action. You can see Link and Zelda right there. There you go. I have not introduced my son to this cartoon yet. I have saved him. It is terrible, but also hilarious in its own way. Yeah, you think I should do it? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's see here. That's the shrine I already did. I guess I got to get over to this shrine now. to learn about making boats. Oh. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. Hmm. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they perform it, is disquieting to me. Ooh, that's a nice looking axe. Some bundles of wood here. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Wood cutting? Yeah, sure. The practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be combined to assemble platforms. You can also chop them down further to make wood. Lumber has many uses. That is why I come here daily to chop wood. I've been rambling for some time. There's an axe I no longer need over there. Cool. Oh, I see. Those are their little, like, resting platforms. Yeah, they'd power down or whatever. <clears throat> okay. So, if my next shrine is... Which direction? I guess I need to go this way. Alright, so I need to get across here. I'm guessing I can just combine some logs together, right? Maybe I should do them two by two though, like this. Probably easier to walk across that way. There we go. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess that'll still work, right? Nice.
Yeah, this building system is pretty cool. <clears throat> I think my son's gonna enjoy seeing all the weird stuff he can do with that. Because he, he loves Minecraft, and so whenever I showed him Breath of the Wild, he liked running around and just kind of goofing off. But one of the first things he asked is if he could build a house. So I think he'll appreciate being able to actually build stuff in this one. Okay. I guess I don't need to go over there, but I, I want to. Uh, this is... Oh, I can move this? Oh, hang on. Oh, interesting. So I can move this thing. Huh. I wonder if I could jump over to it. Let's see. Okay. I don't know if I can... Hang on. Yeah, you'll probably be able to modify weapons too, that's right. I don't actually know for sure. Oh, Dragon Quest Builders is a really cool game. The sequel is even better, if she hasn't played that. Nice. Got a little reward for getting over here, so that's always nice. Anything else around here? I don't know. No, I guess not. Well, Dragon Quest Builders is more like a Minecraft RPG. It's um, it's nothing like the other Dragon Quest games. I would say if you're curious about the franchise. Just go straight to Dragon Quest XI. Their stories are not connected. It's like Final Fantasy. It's a very traditional turn-based RPG. But it's also highly, highly regarded. I haven't played it, but I, I hear it's one of the best turn-based RPGs ever. I've played Dragon Quest VIII. That one's very good. And IX is very good. Oh god, these things are back. Yeah, Dragon Quest Warriors is fine. I mean, it's just like Dynasty Warriors. Korok Seeds, of course. I never bothered collecting those in, the, in Breath of the Wild. I just grabbed whichever ones I could find. I didn't actually seek them out. There were way too many. <clears throat> okay. So we should be almost there, right? Well, I still have to go across this entire platform, I guess. I thought it was close. Hope we get some ways to more quickly travel pretty soon. One thing that I saw on TikTok that I was pleased about is if you have any horses and stables in your save file for Breath of the Wild, this game detects that and carries your horses over. So I thought that was a nice touch. Huh? <laughs> 
<clears throat> well, I mean, the Final Fantasy games, they're not connected by story, so it, it literally doesn't make a difference what order you play them in. If you don't like turn-based, then you just should not touch the first ten in that series. <laughs> they're all extremely turn-based games. Even 12 is basically turn-based. So is 13. Alright, so we are almost to this shrine over here. Yeah, she's just sleep in the recliner, Aaron. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get across this. I'm going to have to build a raft. I forgot about the stamina. I don't know how to make this, this sail on the top of a raft. It didn't cover that. I mean, turn-based stuff is not for everybody. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Okay. Uh, four should be enough. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this looks like a great raft. This looks like an extremely, extremely good raft. I foresee no problems with this at all. I don't know how to make a sail. How do you make a sail? Is it tree branch related? <laughs> Can I connect the uh... <laughs> No, I don't think that did anything. Yeah, in Breath of the Wild, you can get Deku leaves and you can use them to make boats move. Oh, wait. Is that a sail? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Okay. I guess I could have built it all the way back over there. Whatever. Are 
Are you serious? If it's underwater, I can't grab it now? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go back and grab the other one. I wonder what the game would do if I ended up losing both. Choo-choo <laughs> jelly. I learned the hard way that you cannot jump while controlling an item with this thing. Whoops. No, wait, wait, wait. Okay. How do I steer it? I guess I can't. I just have to wait. It is not the best boat ever. But I guess it gets the job done. Whoops. This poor guy a shirt. He needs a shirt. <laughs> Master boat. Yeah, that's a perfect name. Useful, probably. All right, another shrine. Wait, what's that? Are these stairs? Oh, okay. I get the feeling that this can be exploded. I'm pretty sure I'm about to get bombs. That looks very explodey. Shrines have pretty cool entrances, though. <clears throat> oh. I'm about to get bombs. I know it. Oh, I love that sound. Oh, it's not bombs.
fuse. A oh, attach something to a weapon. Oh. Mm. Fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, enhancing it. Oh, okay. Mm. Cool. Oh, wait, I can't carry any more weapons, of course. Um, I guess we'll get rid of this one. Okay. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I just put a giant rock on the end of my sword. What the heck? That's hilarious. <laughs> what are these? Fire fruits. Okay, hang on. Oh, I can't attach it to my bow? But I can. Okay, I just hadn't unlocked that yet, okay. Why isn't this working? It auto switches. I'm so confused. Oh, you do it from your materials. Got it. Okay. I see. So you don't do it from objects in the environment for your bow. You do it with materials from your inventory. Okay. So that's how you create your own fire arrows. And other arrows, I guess. Like, what if I do choo-choo jelly? What is that? Oh, it's like a water arrow. Huh. That's cool. I got a key. Very nice. What do these other things do? Like, what is... What if I attach an apple? <laughs> okay, nothing. <laughs> but you can still do it, though. so ridiculous with the big rock attached to my sword still. Oh, he... These enemies can do the same thing. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. He's standing on a bunch of leaves. Let's go. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that one. This new bow doesn't catch on fire. So this is called a rock hammer. That's funny. Okay, what's up here? A long stick okay um let's i guess we'll get rid of something else <laughs> yeah. 
Let's take the long stick. We'll fuse it with some spikes. <laughs> yeah, why don't we go ahead and put some spikes on my shield too? Whoops. Yeah, there we go. to reach this place. <laughs> We're still pretty much just in the tutorial. and I can open the door. Mr. Construct, man. There's something I failed to give you. Please take it. What the heck is that? Oh, the Buster Cannon. That'd be crazy. It can power Zonai devices. Energy cells. There are no Zonai devices here. Okay, they can teach you on the other side of the cave system. All right. Okay. I'm guessing I can destroy this, right? Yep. There we go. Very nice. Arrows are always handy. to make another boat? No, okay. I can just take the path. We'll let them fight each other first for a little while. There we go. That's how you do it. Once I get off this tutorial area, I'll see what I can unlock with my amiibos. I have quite a few. Ooh, that's a giant board sword thing. shield. There we go.
get rid of this stick. Because I'm guessing I can use this. Yeah, that makes wind. Okay, perfect. That's a cool looking weapon. Let's see, what should I get rid of? Let's go see what's inside this cave over here. Wings, okay. Oh, those turn into homing arrows. That's cool. Okay, do I have anything that can destroy that? Well, now I have to know what happens if I destroy it. on that okay so maybe this stick then there we go got a ruby got some flint nice Whoops. Amber. Yes, those are sort of like light flowers. Rock salt for seasoning. Yep. Okay, let's see what's on the other side of this cave. <laughs> hey, what's up, Bell? put on a shirt well half of a shirt <laughs> Wrap 
maps are broken. This is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. The green thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of devices, but it requires energy, such as an energy cell, and I have one. Stores the energy required to use a Zonai device. It will replenish automatically while Zonai devices are not in use. Capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy obtained within wisely. Okay. Think creatively and you will find many ways to employ them. Cool. Okay, I guess I can't use that particular one. Or something. Culinary constructs, maker constructs. Oh, okay. I can teach you many things. Okay, well. I guess these are the ones that I can use, is what it's referring to. I still don't know how to make a sail though, so unless I see a sail just sitting on the ground. I guess I have that one weapon that can produce wind. Or I guess... Yeah, I can make wind, but I need a sail still. I've got no clue how to make a sail. Maybe it's inside these boxes? Oh, well, okay. I can't even touch those. Take this, right? If it's producing wind like that direction. Then I need to put a sail on it, right? I need to get over there. I need to go this way, right? Yeah. No, just more arrows. Uh, maybe I don't need a sail with that device on there, I guess. Perhaps? Well, how do I turn it on? <laughs> I 
Turn this thing on. It's not one of my items. I don't think. Oh, wait. These charges, maybe? Use it. No. Oh wait, yeah, that was right. Huh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess it's sort of working. I'm not sure if this is the correct way, but it's working for me. path is especially rugged you must take your environment into account when traveling guidelines for traveling the mountain path yes you can tell me fire is a crucial tool it can be used either to cook or to warm yourself you can use flint to start a fire place flint next to a bundle of wood then strike it with a metal or stone weapon makes sense okay teach me to cook you need a pot with a lit fire. Throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that can warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Insects and monster parts are not edible. Do not cook horns or guts. Save these parts for elixirs. Okay. Gotta make fire, first of all. Cool. Sounds good. Materials. All right, so to start a fire here, you gotta drop some flints, right? Whoops. Get it closer. All right. Now let's see. There we go. Nice. Um, I'm not looking to pass time. Do I just drop it in there? I guess. Yeah, I got an apple. Let's do an apple and some sky shrooms and see what happens. <laughs> All right, there we go. Delicious. Cook it to release stamina restoration. Yeah, that could come in handy. 
Hold it. Hold two of those. <laughs> Energizing mushroom skewer. Yeah, the cooking music is very satisfying. Okay, now what it said, I might need elixirs to stay warm, right? Fire fruit. So probably some of this. Um, attach it to a weapon to increase attack power. Uh, let's just, we'll do two of these. There we go. What do the acorns do? For a nutty seasoning? Okay, we'll do, let's try that. Okay, so same thing, it just healed a little more. Okay, let's let's add some salt. Do a couple mushrooms. Throw in one of these rush rooms and an apple. Let's a true feast. Hey, there we go. Alright. That should be good enough for now. shrine is like all the way up there Climbing. Are you still traveling for work, Steiny? Or are you back home already? Yeah, I guess going through here is going to be the correct move. You know what? Can I... Yo, what's up, man? What are you doing up so late? Isn't it like 3 a.m. your time? There we go. Detach one of these bad boys on here. Hey, what's up, Belle? How's it going? And now, this is how this is how the pioneers did it. Dang, this thing's falling. Hold on. Is there a way for me to like, can I light up this area? Of course. It's too late now. I just wasted that. But that does work, so that's good to know. Oh, you fell asleep, now you're wired. <laughs> Are you picking this game up too? I'm still very, very early. I'm doing pretty good, Bell. Uh, Preston accompanied me to the night launch for this. So he, he waited in line with me for the last little bit. This cave is especially dark. You will need a light in order to proceed. Yes, I have some seeds. 
Oh, you got it installed already? Nice. Make sure you download the patch, too. It's pretty small. It doesn't take long. Okay, they grow natively in caves. <clears throat> Let's see. To provide a reminder. Bright blooms require a stimulus to blossom. Yeah, so I already figured that out. You can attach it to an arrow. Yeah, okay. So I guess I'm supposed to, like, place them throughout? Question mark? Or can I attach it to a seed? Or, I mean, a weapon? Like, if I drop one, can I take out this sword and then attach it? What do you know? Does that... It doesn't turn on, though. If I hit something, will it turn on? Uh, I don't know. It's not very dark, though. I don't. I guess I don't really need it. Hang on. Wrong weapon. My rock hammer here. Zonites. Used for crafting. Okay. All the weird like crafting and building stuff you can do in this game is pretty cool. I think my son's really gonna enjoy coming up with weird ideas and seeing if I can do them. I think that'll probably be how we kind of play this, at least initially. Do I have any regular? Oh, I do have regular bright bloom seeds, so I didn't need to waste a giant one. There we go. Nice, nice. What are these things? You're not given permission. What are they? Zona capsules. Convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. Oh. I see. So that way I can deploy them whenever I need them. Huh, that's cool. Okay, you cannot put a device back in a capsule. Alright. <clears throat> what kind of games have you been playing lately, Bell? Minecart time. <laughs> All right. So now I have these capsules, right? Okay. So I can. <laughs> Attach one of these bad boys right here, and then I can activate it. I don't know if there's a better way of doing this, but so far this has been working for me. Oh, that's cool. Screenshot. That is so cool. I love this. 
The time bell rings at a set time each morning. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Hmm. The sound of the temple and the sound of its bell stir fond memories of me. Okay. Whoa, that's a bunch of capsules. <laughs> That looks like one of those, like, capsule machines you put a coin in, like a gumball machine, you know? It's a device dispenser. Okay, it's the same thing. Yeah. The Zonai capsule. Do you want to use it? I have nearly met my target. You are welcome to use it. Produces Zonai capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are things such as contract horns and Zonai charges. You can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It is similar to using a cooking pot. Zonai capsules are portable Zonai devices in convenient pocket form. A device cannot be put... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I guess if I put in one charge, what do you say? It was Zonai charges and I guess construct horns? Is that what he said? Oh yeah, there you go. A flame emitter? Huh. And a fan. Okay. What happens if I just put a charge in? You give me another one? A portable pot? Oh, for cooking, okay. I didn't have to make the sale because it turns out that fan that I attached to it um, was strong enough to push the entire raft. I still have no idea how to make a sale. Okay, well. That was cool. What is that? Oh, it's one of those Korok guys, right? He's got a giant backpack. Oh my gosh. One of the children of the fort. I was traveling with my friend, but we got separated. Sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, I can't move. Well, let's see. Can I build a mine? Oh, here's a minecart right here. Whoops. Yeah, the amount of stuff you can do with this seems insane. And I'm still just in, like, the tutorial. It's gonna be really crazy. Can I lift him? Yep. Here you go, buddy. Stick you right there. Don't worry. Let's get a fan. Put that on right there. And we'll charge it up. Peace out. Oh wait, but now he can't get back. He can't. Oh wait, stop. <laughs> I should have went with him. 
Uh, it's coming all the way back. <laughs> I forgot he can't get out. That's funny. Okay. There you go. There we go. Oh, of course. Now it's stuck. Dang it. Oh, oh boy. Let's wait for it to roll back again. And... There we go. Okay, it's stuck again. So let's actually remove it first. Okay. Now, third time's a charm, right? That's what they say. There we go. Now we're in business. Okay, I gotta move this guy out. Come on. Can I just target the guy? Please. Oh my gosh. Can I just dump him out? How about I do that instead? <laughs> Is he attached to this thing now? How do I get him out of here? Maybe they don't care? I guess he doesn't care, okay. <laughs> they just needed to be closer to each other. Okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Man, once they're stuck, they're stuck for good, huh? Okay, so here's some hooks. I can see... This looks like a crafting bench. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this sort of thing will be used for crafting weapons and stuff, or, or something like that. That's the vibe that I'm picking up. We'll see if that's what they're putting down, I don't know. Okay, so I see here that this is damaged. So I'm guessing if I get in a minecart, it's going to go and fall. So I need to put a hook on it so that it will hook onto the remaining side, maybe? Let's test out this theory. I feel like that's what the game's trying to tell me to do. Okay, so it's on there. There's the hook. Really? You're gonna make me go all the way down here? For everyone else in the chat, Steiny is in the middle of playing Breath of the Wild for the first time. So he's actively discovering that game while I'm playing the sequel. So I think it needs to be like this. This is what I feel like I am supposed to do. Whoops. I have no idea if this is going to be correct. Let's see. If I stick it like right... I want it on the edge. Can I not put it on the edge? Right there. Yeah. Perfect. I feel like this is... This is going to work. 
You know what? I think I put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> oh, let's see. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Let's see if this actually works. Well, nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. He fell on top of me. <laughs> Maybe I should go ahead and just start with it hanging? Maybe that's the trick. Oh. I was overcomplicating things for no reason. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. But how do I get to it? Can I just walk along this? Oh boy. Oh boy, what have I done? Oh no. Oh. oh. Let's be careful, Link. Come on. I feel like this is not what you're supposed to do, but if it works, it works, right? Oh man. Okay. <laughs> Whoops, I did not mean to attach an apple. There we go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, so maybe the trick is two hooks? Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. It did give me two hooks, didn't it? Let's see what happens with two hooks. that would have worked. I feel like that would have worked. I think this is going to do it. I think we're good. I cracked the code, everybody. Here it is. This is it. Beautiful, beautiful machine. <laughs> it did not work. If that wasn't clear. You know what I'm... Can I just attach... <laughs> oh, man. Okay. What What is the secret here? Maybe I'm supposed to use a plank instead? Hmm. Are all my minecarts gone? I think they might all be stuck on the other side now. How am I supposed to get over there? Well, that's not nice. Oh, wait. There's this giant floaty block. Oh, wait, here we go. I've still got a mic there.
Okay, does anyone have any ideas that I have not tried? Did I lose both of my hooks now? I don't think, I don't see those respond anywhere. Yeah, I'm not seeing my hooks. That could be a problem. One hook in the middle, that might work, but I just wonder if it would be enough support. I don't know why I didn't try that. I should have tried that. I don't see my hooks, though. Are the hooks gone? I mean, that could be, uh, that could be a problem. Can I just walk across the entire thing? I mean, I guess I could, right? Maybe these guys can make more hooks or something? Surely they would have thought about this. No? Okay. <clears throat> I've got mine cards, I've got fans. But I don't see any hooks. I might just have to walk across the entire rail. I was not smart enough to think of putting a hook in the middle of the minecart. Is this even possible? Maybe I could restart, I guess? Oh boy, do I even want to save? Okay, I've got... I've got a, a save. Let's see. I think that's from whatever I just respawned right now. Well, let's let's check. Maybe if I reload that, the hooks will be there. Okay, I'm guessing it worked because it looks like all the pieces are back where they were earlier, I think. Because I have to reattach the fan. Let's see. Try this instead. Okay. <laughs> oh, my 
god. I'm destined to never... To never get this. Let's go ahead and start it out already on the on the hook, right? Maybe that's the problem. It needs to already be hooked, right? Yeah, I think this is gonna work this time. I feel the most confident about this one I have since I started this. It's it's rolling smoothly right now. Thank you, Aaron. Okay, the last shrine is up there, so we're almost there. Or the last shrine for the prologue, at least. Portable pot, very nice. Okay, but how do I get over there? Do I have to climb this thing? I guess so. So I charge. Just have to climb this thing. Okay. expected that. I don't even think I can make that jump, can I? Seems kind of far. Oh, wait. There we go. I need that block. Oh, I see. to get very cold, I can tell. Yeah, have to f eat some food, right? No, nope. that appears to be the opposite effect of what I was hoping for. Did not do anything. Um, how do I get? Okay. Whoops. Drop the pot. Does that not heal me? I thought being near fire was supposed to help. I'm so confused. Uh, that's clearly not helping. Um... Okay, so I thought fire fruit would be helpful, but apparently not. Okie dokie. Oh, of course, I missed 
I miss the giant cave that's dedicated to... <laughs> yeah, peppers. Yep, of course. There we go. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> the cave was right there. Resistance, beautiful. Do a smaller one. Five minutes, and then do one of those, and throw in a couple of apples. Cool. I gotta figure out what I'm supposed to do over here. Where do I even go? I guess if I could get on top of this bridge, that would be helpful. Right? I think I could do that. This as a little climbing boost. Yeah, you're still early on, Steiny. One of my main problems with Breath of the Wild is that you go very long stretches without the story really doing anything. And basically, all of the cutscenes, like the memories and stuff, are like missable. Or just like extremely oh. obtuse, and I don't know. <clears throat> All the lore is interesting, but I wish it had a more defined plot. So far, this one seems pretty interesting, though. Like, I, I feel like they are kind of fixing some of the problems I had. What the heck? This Tetris? Like, what is happening here? <laughs> oh, it's a Korok puzzle, of course. Not too much farther. And the screen is definitely <laughs> the brightness is directly on my face. Oh my god, it looks like I'm looking into the sun in the in the webcam. this one. There we go. I think I'm good on spicy pepper stuff. I don't really need anymore, I don't feel like. If I do, I have the portable pots. Okay, I'm guessing this cave will take me up through the mountain, up top. Probably. 
Oh my god, that was a ton of bats. Or keys, I should say. Did I just miss? No, okay. going to sick me. Oh, okay, sweet. <laughs> I have no reason to do that fight. I'm good. So I have some bomb flowers now for bomb arrows. Ew, what is that? that not doing as much damage as I feel like it should. Um, actually hitting it with the bomb arrow. I must have been just barely missing it. Oh, those are like likes. Interesting. I think after I do this next shrine, it'll be a good stopping point. Basically finishing the prologue, more or less. Those bomb arrows, <laughs> they do a lot of damage. Okay, are we back at the beginning of this shrine? Or, oh no, I already defeated the first one, okay. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Breath of the Wild's good, man. You know what? I'm wondering if I can just drop the bomb flowers on the ground. No, oh, you can't use them as items. Okay. Did I get a fl Oh wow. It's a shield. <laughs> it shoots out fire. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Let's go ahead and save real quick. It's a cold mist jelly. There we go. Find this easily, seeing as how it's you know made out of ice. Oh, maybe I can make it like a log ladder. I'm excited to see if this works. Oh, 
thank you, Aaron. Appreciate it. Oh, I think I did it. Okay, because you probably can't climb this, right? Yeah, you slip off. Yeah, look at that. I made a log ladder. The frame rate seems fine to me. I'm not the kind of person that gets picky about that kind of stuff, though. I guess. Actually, no. I should probably go ahead and cook some more just to be safe, right? Uh, some peppers. for 12 minutes. There we go. Cool. Oh, whoops. <clears throat> All right, after the shrine, we can see if Zelda is, in fact, inside that door. Okay, what's my oh. next ability? Extend your right hand. I really do not envy the people that have to write guides about this game because the combinations are just basically endless and the solutions to like puzzles are essentially endless. Mm. Okay, this is the ascend ability. You can travel through what's above you. That's weird. Mm. That's very weird. I guess it works like this, like you could just <laughs> What the heck? Okay, <laughs> that's wild, huh? <laughs> it's 
stone axe, very nice. Can't carry any more. Well, I definitely don't need this. Okay, of course they made it so you can. Oh my god, that froze me too? I did not realize that would freeze me too. Crap. See. So you have to try to time it. Yeah, hey, what's up? How's it going, Lion's Mother? I have not streamed in many months. I don't know if I'm really going to get back to streaming regularly, but with the new Zelda game, I just couldn't resist the urge. Three of the <coughs> shrines up here are done, so may the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Oh, I've been there before. Streaming is nothing if not full of technical issues that are completely random and inexplicable so i definitely can empathize <sighs> restore some power to the new arm of yours the door into the temple of time should now open <sighs> don't worry homie i got you Of course, it's way over there. Uh, is it going to be faster to go this way, I guess? Can I make another little bridge, perhaps? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it.
Nice. I'm a genius. Definitely gonna come in handy. There we go. Hell yeah. Now my little footsies can stay warm. Well, I have to get up there and see what's up there. I guess I could. I could actually go grab my little ladder and just bring it over here, right? I don't need it over there anymore. Exactly as the game intended, right? <laughs> I thought it was taller. Dang it. <laughs> Maybe it's still useful, I guess? No. Completely useless. What was I thinking? What are those things for? Oh, can I make a flying thing? Them have flourished for many years. Use of the zone you're close will be much easier. Okay, I think what it's trying to tell me is that I can put wings together and fly. Maybe if I put the two wings together and then attach a fan, it'll lift off with this little runway here. I think that's what it's trying to tell me to do. But first, I am going to climb up here, or at least attempt to. So stupid. I'm so dumb. Look at this. There's basically a little stairway right here. Okay, what is up here? We've got one of these de hookies. Maybe I can get something good, I don't know. Let's see. Um we'll drop a couple of these. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got a fan, a flame emitter, and a wing. Try balancing. I say can harness, lift to ride the wind. Okay. Well, I should do it one more time to see if I can get another wing, right? Nice. I have four wings, so. Okay, awesome. Can I move this once I'm on it? Oh my gosh, that was close. So 
go ahead and save real quick. No, I can't. Okay. So... How do I get... I'm not even gonna bother. I don't care enough. It's probably just some materials or something. Oh wow, okay. So that totally was like... So it says to unstick, you just... Oh, there we go. Okay. So... You can attach these like that. I wonder... Would it be beneficial to have a log in the middle? Like, these grooves are so confusing to me. Okay, hang on. That's not what I intended. If I put it like here. Is it still going to slide down? I want this to be successful. Okay. So what I'm thinking makes the most sense. Is to put two logs. Like this. No, I think the wings go together. I think it's two wings. Okay, so this should be a good base, right? Like that's that's pretty stable. These aren't, it's not a flat base. I don't think this is gonna work, but we'll, I'm gonna go ahead and try it anyway. Let's see what happens. We're gonna see what happens. Now we gotta attach the fan to it. Right? That would make sense. <laughs> I'm not sure I have like any confidence in this whatsoever, but guess we're gonna find out, right? Here we go. Okay, I think I see what, what has gone wrong here. So I don't think I need the logs. 
I think that was my problem. Whoops. Okay, I think this is all I need. I think I was overcomplicating things. And it honestly seems like I may not even need the fan. But I feel like it can't hurt to get a little extra momentum, right? I just wonder if that's not really in the center. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Oh no. Oh no. That was... That thing was sliding fast. Okay. I need this thing out of the way. No! Oh my gosh. That is not what I meant to do. Okay. It's totally gonna work though. Okay, this is a much better restart point. The game is very clearly telling me what to do now. Just, hey, stick these together. Is it going to be better curved like this? I don't know. Okay, let's see. I feel like I'm extremely dumb right now. Like, is this supposed to be just super simple? I feel like the wings have to go together but you know what I think you're right once again Aaron there's markings for your feet oh my gosh yeah I think you're right I thought there were each a wing that you were supposed to this makes so much more sense now yeah, there's markings for your feet on there. Oh my god. I wasted so much time. <laughs> it's just so obvious. Like, it, it seems so super obvious. <laughs> yeah, well, there we go. Alright.
<laughs> and then you just go like that to steer it, right? Yeah. Oh, we're diving. We're diving. Perfect landing. Look at that. <clears throat> Moral of the story is listen to Aaron all the time. This looks fancy. Is that like a cocoon or something? <laughs> Let me guess, it's some kind of memory or something weird. Yep. Why can't they just make a Zelda game where Zelda is a character throughout the game that you can actually interact with? Instead of having her be asleep or captured or something dumb. I feel like that'd be so much better. If it was just you and her on an adventure, you know, like she was actually participating. That was cool. I don't know what it does, but it was cool. Yeah, definitely wouldn't be surprised if this is part of a trilogy. Maybe she'll have a more prominent role in the final installment or something. <clears throat> I'm just kind of tired of her being a background sideline character in her own franchise. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Hmm. It's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was an echo. That reflects her sheer will. <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm at a pretty good stopping point for tonight. I'm liking it a lot so far. It is. I would say basically about what I expected. I think I'm going to enjoy all the new additions. All of the cool building mechanics are definitely very neat, very inventive. I think it will inspire a lot of creativity. I'm excited to see where stuff goes. This is a pretty impressive prologue area. I think it really did a good job of demonstrating all the new mechanics really well. Uh, yeah, so pretty impressed. I'm excited to, to see what happens with the story. I think that's what I'm the most interested in. This comes from the perspective of someone that has uh, multiple history books and guides and encyclopedias about Zelda. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. This is pretty cool. I'm not going to stream this entire game. 
I'll be playing it mostly off stream. I don't even know if I'm going to stream it again, period. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, everybody. Uh, Steiny, Aaron, uh, Lion's Mother, Queen Bee, uh, everyone that was in the chat tonight, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I will hopefully stream some more. I'll, I'm going to try to get back into it. I do like streaming. Just hard to find the energy and interest. But we'll see how it goes. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Hope you had a good time. And I will see you guys again on the next one.